everyone, Love Agarwal here, Technical Solutions Specialist for IBM Data and AI. What if you could tap into all of your critical data assets, no matter where they physically are? What if you could query two or 2,000 data systems from a single data query? This is what's possible with our virtualization services in Cloud Pack for Data. Let's take a deeper look at the whiteboard. Data is everywhere. The number of sources and the volume of data are both rapidly increasing and it's highly distributed both internally and externally. Current data architectures consist of a massive variety of data sources and tools, all with different purposes, performance considerations, and security concerns. Trying to launch analytics and insights projects from these sources can be immensely challenging. Many resource-intensive ETL jobs have to be run, there is unnecessary duplication and replication of data across different data engines, and often overlooked, data governance issues accelerate across the enterprise. Trying to perform production-level analytics at this scale can become costly and complex. We solve this challenge with our data virtualization service, which gives your organization the ability to view, access, manipulate, and analyze data without the need to know or understand its physical format or location, and without having to move or copy it. Our virtualization platform consists of three common layers. First, we start with the connection layer. This provides us with the adapters we need to go out and communicate with different data sources. Our platform has native integration with nearly every major database solution and also allows you to import your own JDBC driver for even broader support. Next is the virtualization layer. This is the engine that's able to construct optimized queries against our data sources, build virtual tables, and scale while preserving performance by utilizing a parallel processing model which distributes queries across edge nodes. And third is the consumer layer. This is the interface by which users interact with the platform and allows them to expose their virtualized data to applications, analytics tools, web services, and more. Complementing our virtualization platform is an enterprise-grade data governance catalog. This catalog is able to pull metadata from across your sources and allows you to assign business terms, data privacy and protection rules, and display lineage information. Working together, our platform delivers controlled, governed, and secure access to virtual datasets. A common area of concern to database administrators can be the impact to their production systems that now have to support platforms querying against them. We understand this concern and provide a solution to minimize impact to production. Rather than our virtualization platform directly querying critical data systems, we bring the ability to build virtual data pipelines. VDP creates instant virtual clones of databases, captures incremental updates, and applies data masking and role-based access controls. Our virtualization platform is then able to query these virtual data clones, eliminating impact to production data servers. Using this approach, we're able to connect to disparate data sources, virtualize them, and make them available for consumption in analytics and machine learning projects through a trusted, governed, and tagged enterprise data catalog. Now let's see this process in action in a live environment. Okay, this is a demonstration of our data virtualization capabilities within Cloud Pack for Data, our end-to-end -end enterprise insights platform. So once we log in, we get to this landing page and we can go ahead and open our menu and under collect, we find data virtualization. So here we can see all of the different data sources that we have connected into our system. We have some MySQL sources, some DB2, and we can even go in here and look at our sources in the constellation view to give us a better picture of all the different sources that we're connected to. But we want to virtualize some data, so we go here under the Virtualize tab. Here we can see all of the different tables that our database consists of. We can sort our databases by database type, uh, but actually I know what schema I'm looking for, so I can just search by that. And I know I'm looking for customer data and address data. So I select those two tables and click Add to Cart. Now here I have the ability to select where my virtual tables will go. Will they be assigned to a project that some users are working on, or are they going to be fulfilling a data request that someone has made? Uh, in this case, they'll be going directly to my virtualized data. 
And then here we can specify whether we want to submit these tables to our data catalog. Uh, and I do want to do that, so I'm gonna leave it unchecked and then click virtualize. And now we can see that both address and customer tables have shown up in my virtualized data. But what would be even more helpful is if I could combine these two tables together and present a virtual table for my users to use. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I select address and customer and I click join. And I'm presented with an easy to use point and click interface that allows me to select custom values from within my table uh, and define the parameters on which to join them. So I'm going to join them on customer ID and address ID. And I'm actually going to deselect some of these fields as they won't be necessary in our project. Another point to note here, we also have a full SQL editor built in. So for those users who want to be able to define their own custom SQL query, they can do so here in the SQL editor. And on the other hand, those users who do not have those skills can simply use the point and click interface to construct their query. So we'll go back to the join virtual objects pane and click next. Here we're given the ability to give our new virtual table a name. So I'm going to call this one customer address and edit any column names that we may want to change. All this looks fine to me, so I'm going to leave it as is. So I'll go ahead and click create view. And here we can see that my custom virtual table has been created. I can preview the first 20 rows of this new table. And it looks good to me and now is available to use in my virtualized data. Now this virtual table is available to use by data scientists for analytics and machine learning projects through the data governance catalog. So without physically knowing where our data lives, we were able to create custom virtual tables that our data science users can query. In the next video, we will explore how data science users can search for and find different types of data that they're looking for through the governance catalog.